Hey folks, I know you know this, but I want to remind you, times are changing. And by that, I don't just mean time change Sunday, but I do want to remind you about that as well. This Sunday morning, you want to make sure that you set your clocks an hour ahead so you're not late for Sunday school and then the morning service to follow. We're going to have a great time on Sunday, but I do want to remind you that our world is changing in many other ways. In fact, uh, when it comes to our world, we know that as things change, we have different responses to change. COVID has been a crisis, and we've really been looking at it for about a year now. And COVID as a crisis, we know that crisis, anytime it comes along, is a catalyst for change. It makes change happen so much faster. And our world has changed a lot over this last year. Uh, think about that. Uh, even this week, there's been a $1.8 trillion COVID relief bill. That's a lot of money. And who would have ever imagined a year, two, three years ago that such a bill would able, be able to pass the way that it did uh, in the government? Uh, we think about churches too. And we know that churches right now are spiritually anemic. You say, how do you know that? Well, here's a statistic. 98% of churches right now are not yet back to pre-COVID attendance levels. Wow. Uh, we talked about it before. One in five churches, roughly 20% of churches in the United States, are looking at the strong possibility of closing their doors in the next 18 months or less. We think about what's going on in America, and when it comes to this year, in 2021, they're saying that churches potentially will close their doors and die at a rate that's two times faster than they were before COVID. That's a huge change, folks. Now, just imagine how odd, strange, and evil our world has gotten over this last year. And now imagine a world in the next 18 to 24 months or less where 20% of churches have closed their doors. That's a scary world to live in. So what can we do to change the tide? We need to realize that there is a heart problem of what's going on in America. And guess what? We cannot expect government, we cannot expect education to make all the fixes. And by the way, all the stimulus money is not going to make all the fixes either. Here's where it needs to change. We know that God has been trying to get a hold of our hearts. So let's focus on our hearts and let's figure out where it is that God's trying to get our attention because he really, really is. And that's been the focus of our Sunday morning services in the, the You Who series that we've been in. Let's examine our hearts, because I want to encourage you to know that not everything's bad. In the midst of all the negative things, I want you to know that God is sincerely reaching out to people and to us so that we can hear his voice and so that we can respond. And so church, I'm calling you to respond. I want you to, I want to encourage you to be a part of our services this coming Sunday, and let's let God get a hold of our hearts and to change us and help us to be different as a church so that we can influence and impact our world with the gospel of Jesus Christ better than we've ever been able to do before. Let's let God do something. God's been getting our attention. Think about this. When it comes to our worship, John 4, 23 says, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers, are you a true worshiper? True worshipers go to church. True worshipers watch services online if they have to. But true worshipers show up and they connect with God. But true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. It says, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Do you get the idea? He seeketh such to worship him. God's seeking for us. He wants that relationship with us. And we need to have that same relationship with him. And so if I can just implore, beg, plead, I want to encourage you to be a part of our services this coming Sunday. And not just this Sunday, but over these next few weeks. And not just those next few weeks, but until Jesus comes again or God calls you home, let's be faithful to God's house. And not just God's house, but every day, let's make sure that we are worshiping. Make sure that we are getting into God's word. Make sure that we are pray praying and then also that we are also sharing our faith with other people. You say, our world doesn't want to hear it. Our world seems to have so much social distancing to keep us from sharing the gospel. Our world needs to hear the gospel now. 
In fact, the Bible reminds us, as Timothy was uh, told by Paul, that, hey, we're supposed to preach the gospel. We're supposed to do that when, we're, when it's in season, which maybe in the past it was in season, and when it's out of season. And right now, I think this, even while a lot of Christians, so-called Christians, have walked away from church, the gospel and the message of the word of God is something that is quickly out of season. Uh, things I've even seen on social media recently, I could go into some of those types of things on social media accounts and things that have been hosted by um, Facebook and Twitter and so on and so forth. Uh, there's, there is a direct attack against Christianity right now and the truth of the word of God. But I know this, as Christians, we need to take a stand. We need to do what's right and we need to expose our hearts to God. Let me ask you to do this. One thing we're gonna focus on Sunday, I know this is a dangerous topic, but it is this, we've got to expose our heart to the Lord and we must confess our sin. As Christians, we need to do that. We're gonna focus on that this coming Sunday. And uh, by the way, if we're going to be authentic Christians, that's what our world needs right now. We need to make sure that we are whole, we are complete, we are not sinless, but confessing our sin before God. And so I wanna pray. I wanna encourage you uh, in your walk with the Lord. I wanna challenge you to do that. We've got a busy weekend ahead. It's always busy at Open Door for sure. Excited about the things that God is continuing to do in all of our ministries, a lot of things. I wish I could share some of those things with you, um, but uh, catch me at some point, email me and let me know. You can pastor at opendooronline.com uh, and just connect with me. I'd love to share a few things with you. If you have a question or a prayer request, uh, please let me know. Uh, check out the new logo if you want to on our new church, on, on the church website or whatever. But God's doing some great things. A lot of things I can talk to you about there. But know this, is God doing something special in your heart? He wants to. And I hope that he's going to continue to do that. Let's let him do that. Well, I hope you have a great evening or day, whenever it is that you watch this. And God bless you. Look forward to seeing you very, very soon at our services, hopefully in person and or online. And we'll see what God is going to do in our lives. God bless you, my friends. We'll talk to you very, very soon.